Panaji, what is the exact nature of the practice that you'll be leading during this seminar? See, I know my friends and my students. Even if I see them only once a year or only once in 10 years. People, those who are coming for this seminar are normally practitioners in their own right. They have been practicing asana, pranayama, or some mantra, some form of meditation. Therefore, I have a definite things which I wish to teach. And that is go through a general outline of general understanding of this whole scripture and of this entire 22 chapters. Then focus on just few things. Number one, how to gain access to the our own inner healing force. That process is called process of entering court, the gate, the arch. The presiding force of any entrance, any point of entry in our life is called dhatri, D-H-A-T-R-I, dhatri. Whether we are trying to enter our own mind, understand who we are, whether we are trying to get a, a better understanding of our own GI tract and figure out why my digestive process is not so great, or we are trying to understand what's going on in life, in my family, society, or in my relationship. So every in every aspect of life, at every moment, we are trying to enter somewhere. We are trying to reach somewhere. And how we enter deep inside ourselves, how we penetrate a particular issue, you know, and how to understand the complexities, that is the key to success. How to use the wisdom of Mahamrityunjay Mantra as described in Netra Tantra in order to make sure that our starting point is correct, our access to our you know, uh, uh, problem is correct, and how to make sure that our solution is correct, that will be, that's where I will focus a lot at in the beginning. Then from there, you know, things continue, how to deal with other obstacles, how to make sure that, you know, the uh, our balance of the left and right nostrils is correct, the, the masculine and feminine in us, and therefore how to really uh, bring all the uh, so-called uh, 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 apparent forces which apparently seems to be opposing to each other, how to bring them to a state of balance and allow that Shakti emerging from that balanced state of our own inner ecology to really guide us and help us move forward. That's what will be the focus of this particular study. And in fact, this is what once we understand, then we can do any practice in life. It's not just the Navarana Mantra. It's not only just Gayatri Mantra. It's not only just the Mahamrityunjaya Mantra. It's not just the Asana. It's not just the breathing. It's not just the, you know, any kind of practice. But rather any kind of practice is just fine, provided we know how to approach a practice and how to become one with practice and how to really penetrate, pierce the, you know, the very spirit of any practice, any discipline. That will be my first uh, focal point. And then thereafter, then I will start describing many, many, many different practices and students will have the opportunity to choose whatever seems to be the most appropriate for them.